Let's now use Spring to do auto wiring and dependency management. Auto wiring and dependency management are the most important features of Spring and let's see how Spring does that. What we are seeing in here is the login controller is creating a new instance of the login service. This is not really considered to be a good practice. The ideal way should have been that some other framework should create the login service and give it to this and that would be called dependency injection. Login service is a dependence of the login controller. Any dependency should be provided by the framework to the class which needs it. So in an ideal world, I would want to be able to create the login service somewhere and I would want to be able to set it in here. So I would want to set the login service here. But now somebody has to create the login service for me and put it in here. Who would do that for me? And that's where the Spring Framework comes in. Spring Framework is the framework, I mean the reason why Spring Framework has become really famous is because of this simple feature called dependency injection. With dependency injection, you can pass in any login service to this. I mean any class, if this was an interface, you could have passed in any implementation of that interface and the login controller can work with it. Now, I would want to wire this in from the Spring Framework. So, how do I tell Spring Framework that this is a bean you need to manage? So, I need to tell Spring Framework that create an instance of this bean. You take care of this bean. You take care of new login service. You create a new login service. I need to tell Spring Framework this and then I would need to set the login service in here. We need to tell the Spring Framework also to do that. How do we do that? The way we do that is by using an annotation. So now this login service is an service. So I am saying at service. So I put an annotation at service. It's in the package or Spring Framework stereotype, control space bar. It would import it in. And now this is something which would be managed by Spring. So this bean would be managed by Spring and Spring would create an instance of this particular bean and have it ready and ready for use wherever it is matching. So now this particular place login service I would want to set the thing in. This process in Spring is called auto wiring. So Spring is having the bean created somewhere I would want to take that bean and set it in here. So how do we do that? we use something called auto wiring. So we want this to be auto wired. So auto wired and control space bar. It would do an import of annotation auto wired and save. So now you would see that we are not creating an instance of the bean in here, but somehow magically Spring would create an instance of the login service and it would provide it to the login controller. So let's quickly see what's happening in here. So you'd see that in the bean factory, Spring is defining these beans, login controller and login service. That's good. So login service is now available as a bean and you'd also see that in the login controller, there is a message in the log, auto wired field element for login service. And the login service bean which was created is being auto wired. So without us creating an instance of the login service here, we are able to auto wire it in with the Spring Framework. That's the magic of Spring Framework. There are, there is one more question that you need to understand. The thing is, how does Spring know to search this particular package? So how does Spring know that it has to search only in this package and not elsewhere? Where are all the service things present? Where are all the controllers present? How are we telling that to the Spring Framework? How are we tell, telling that in this package, search in this particular package? How are we telling Spring where to search? That's done. We already did that earlier in todoservlet.xml. So in the todoservlet.xml, we defined something called component scan. And we said the base package is com.in28minutes. What Spring Framework does is it searches 
these two packages. So com dot in 28 minutes, the only things which are present in here right now are these. So it would search com dot in 28 minutes and all the sub packages. So lo dot login is a sub package of that. So it would search this also to see if anything has at controller or at service or at auto wired and then it tries to manage that and inject them in. So basically this is where we start right. I mean this is loaded by the dispatcher servlet and when this is loaded it would search for search in com dot in 28 minutes and it would find this as a bean so login service as a bean and it does not need anything so it would create an instance and have it ready and when it sees auto wired on the login controller it would wire it in so it sees that it has a login service already as a bean so it would wire that particular thing in here so this particular feature of spring is called component scan so component scan is used to search for components and services and controllers in this step we learned a little bit about spring auto wiring and dependency management we used auto wiring to wire in the login service and we use these two annotations at auto wired and at service let's get together in the next step